Um, oh, here, yeah, we're here at leopardrealestate.com. Joel over there with a uh, shush, quiet, with a sleepy, sleepy face from loud yep. people or people's people's junk, literally. People loud, uh, people's loud garbage. Yeah, well, that's the worst. You know, I, 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 I part, part of this. I was up because I couldn't sleep. So I was up thinking, you know, there, there's obviously a design flaw in these garbage bins. They mm-hmm. shouldn't, the lids shouldn't, they don't need to articulate all the way out. Like they don't need to flip all the way down. They don't oh. need to. They should They should really incorporate a stop of some sort so that the garbage cans don't keep people up for hours when it's windy. Yeah. I, you know, I'm sure. it should just it just needs to just just above 90 degrees that's it right mm. it shouldn't it shouldn't be able to come all what the if, way down what about it no i sometimes i like it open when you're like doing leaves and stuff it just just and, sits but then i can't get to it from all four angles and that's it's the backdrop well it has yeah. wheels turn it hmm. yeah you just throw stuff in all right i'm i'm down you should really drop all you're doing and uh <laughs> And go do this. Um, so funny, you were talking. Joel was saying he got into all the Safeways in Sobeys in all of Lethbridge, and cra- that is crazy. That's crazy. What is? I know. And, and you didn't. You couldn't have known this, but I wanted to talk about like shopping local and the importance of shopping local. And I oh, know I, I have some figures on that. Yeah. Well. Here's, here's what got me thinking about it. Um, when someone buys a house, there is a lot of revenue that goes into the city that they are in, in a lot of different ways, right? Yeah. So I I just bought a house on Friday. I'm going to fix it up and flip it. Um, I don't even know if I told you about it yet. No. Nope. No. No. Well, I will show you some photos. But it's not a bad house. It's actually, it's funny because it's... um. Um, I would say an older person owned it and they cared more about like, Ooh, that window's drafty. I'll replace the window. than they did about, Oh, the carpet's ugly. I'll replace the carpet. So <laughs> it's like new windows, new <clears throat> furnace, new, uh, roof the exterior looks amazing. Like it, it's in really good shape here. I'll show you. There it is. Um, so exterior is nice, <clears throat> pretty. It's actually got a huge yard, but then you go inside, you're like, Oh, yellow door. Uh, wallpaper, a uh, blue eggshell, uh, brown carpets, right? But all new window. Well, that's not a new window. I think these are the only three new windows that aren't new, but newer windows, new door, right? So it just needs a facelift. That's all. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So nothing, nothing crazy. I want to. I'll show you the yard because that's the important part. Anyway, it's a big yard uh, near the end here. Come on, internet. I broke it. I broke the internet. Doesn't matter. Um, so it got me thinking about like shopping local because I had a friend that got bit on one of those solar companies that came to town from Calgary, right? I've told this story and they gave a deposit and then they're like, see ya. Cause they're not yeah. local. And there's no one to go knock on the door. And when I buy a property like this, I think about, so I'm in BNI on Wednesdays, again, sparked my ideas. You end up going to BNI and going, Ooh, I can use that guy. I can use that lady. I can use this guy. And, and right down the row. And you know, when you're thinking about, okay, the first thing you do when you purchase a home, realtor got that covered um <clears throat> then the seller actually makes money so that money flows into the economy elsewhere but i'm going to pretend this is just me as the buying part right now i need insurance i need a lawyer um i didn't get a mortgage on this one but typically you need a mortgage so all those guys will get paid um then it needs a carpet so i went to uh flooring superstore carpet superstore whatever that is and i ordered flooring yesterday and uh we're gonna build cabinets and so we're gonna go locally get all the the wood and everything we need build cabinets um and what else do we need i mean it goes on and on a painter um you know anyway so everything we do we're gonna shop local in town here there's really nothing i can see we're gonna order it from your camera just like zoomed out like crazy there yeah Um, weird anyway uh and it just got me thinking of the importance of like, yeah, you should really take care of your community. I could order cabinets that come from, you know, China and I could do all this stuff. And it's like, or I could pay a guy that's in town that eventually one day might buy a house with me. Or, you know what I mean? There's lots of things you could do. And the flooring guys, we've, we've sent them lots of business. So actually now our prices are coming way down. Mm-hmm. And that's the benefit of using local over a longer period of time too, right? Yeah. Where... 
Um, if you are just ma and pa, like first house and you buy at the flooring store or whatever, you're probably gonna get the floor price, whatever that is on there. But anyway, so yeah. What I think is cool, you're exactly right. What, what I think is cool is, is you really start to, at least for me, when I, when I realized this and it seems so simple, but when I was like, when I actually thought about it, it blew my mind you know, with, with a business like mine, where I have, where I have product in, in, you know, now I have product in grocery stores in Calgary. So people from Calgary are working in Calgary, making money, getting paid in Calgary, doing all that stuff. And then going to the grocery store and buying my product from Lethbridge where I get the money yeah, and I get to spend it. And then I take that money from Calgary. I'm taking it. And I'm spending it in, in Lethbridge Talking by about, yeah. hiring employees. They're they're taking the money and spending yeah. it by you know I'm spending the money on on goods and supporting local local people here. It's just like I know it, it makes complete sense, and there's no other way that it could happen. But like when you actually think about it, it's like you know all of these businesses like mine are are literally taking money from other other um, economies, smaller like yeah. Yeah. And, and bringing them to ours and letting, you know, and then with that money, we're sponsoring teams. We're, you know, like there's not that I am, but other people are. I, are. I have 30 <laughs> soccer balls in that other room that might need a sponsor, but sure. But, <laughs> um, you know, it's just like, I find that just so interesting. Like yeah. we don't small businesses. I don't know if like, and, and for me, now that I've realized that, I'm like, well, I want to take as much money as I possibly can from all of these other cities. And I want to inject it into the city that I'm living in yeah right like more companies i don't know to me now it's like a i I need to win yeah (laughs) i need to do more no it's a that's the i would say okay you know how like you always just hear boiler points like capitalism versus communism or whatever you're like meh but once you get down into it like if you don't just like look at it a binary good bad evil whatever like you said you've taken something from nothing that you were making in your kitchen to something that's all over southern alberta now and and then injecting your revenue back into the community. And I, like, so same with me, we are locally owned and operated Leopard real estate. There's no, you know, a company out of Edmonton owns us or Red Deer, nothing like that. And we're not a national brand. So we're all local here. Every dollar comes in. Now, for some reason, I'm I like, I started a soccer league and I support three youth soccer teams using funding that kind of is like, well, my money now for now. And then we're raising money. We're doing everything. But that also helps those kids in the community and it helps like, you know, so it's, it's a funny thing how you just go, yeah, money, money, money. That's good. But the money does unlock other things later that you can oh, help yeah. your community. You can help things. So I'm just like, I'm really excited about doing this project. We're going to video it, the whole thing. Oh, hate it, but we're going to do it. We're going to make a video series on like how to flip a house essentially. Right. Nice. And none of the bull crap. Cause I think, Oh, well, you've, you and I have done a flip together. I think a lot of people lie about flips, like, you know, in their head, realtors like, oh, so easy. Just do this. And you're at, you make $1 million. And it's like, I'm just going to show people the actual numbers, what we paid money in money out problems. You're going to run into, right. Cause there's going to be construction problems. There's going to be like cut fingers. There's going to be stuff that happens. That's the real part of flipping a house. Right. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I was going to say there's, there's a, there's, if you look at the market on MLS, if you look at realtor.ca actually, and, and just kind of go through, there's, there's a number of examples of why flips aren't easy. Yes. <laughs> Cause yes. there's, there's some half flips. Yeah. There's one for sure on, on MLS or uh, uh, you can look at and you realize that flips aren't easy. No, they're not. They're not. And I got, we, we got to change the word from flips. Cause I think flips has a negative connotation of like can, yeah. evil, but that's not what we're doing. I have a rule of three that I like to do. And I think I've told you this a million times. If I'm going to invest in a property, rule one, can I rent it out? That's always my first rule. Like, so worse comes to worse. The market falls out. I bought a property. I fixed it. Can I get my money out and rent it out? That's rule one. Rule two, can I sell it? You know, obviously, can I make money on this thing and get rid of it? And rule three is, can I live in it? So really, the world explodes around me. My wife takes the house. I have to live in a house. I wouldn't want to build a place that I knew was a piece of crap and I'd have to bring my kids into. So yeah. you have to have that thought process when even when you're going to sell a property, because it's like, I might have to live in this if the world were bad. I don't want to put in like plumbing that I bought at, you know, whatever. 
I'm going to say China again, like Timu, that's the company. I couldn't think of the name. And it's like, it's going to explode in three days. Right. So, yeah. but anyway, yeah, we're going to outline the whole thing and I think it'll be exciting. We'll see how it goes. Nice. Yeah. yeah it's a smart idea to video it. Yeah. And we're also, I'm not going to add this on, um, but I'm going to uh, get like energy smart who did my solar to build us a package. So I'm not going to put it on the, the roof for anyone, but I'll say, Hey, here's the package and we'll build it into the price. So if, if you want to buy the house, it's this, if you want to include solar, it's this. And then it gives that person that option where essentially they can build it into their mortgage instead yeah. of having to come up with the cash. Cause the, a lot of the grants are gone and everything like that. So anyway, it won't be a crazy system like ours, but a nice system to supplement your, sure. you know, your winters. Right. So anyway, all local, be fun. Um, with Halloween, I just want to talk about one thing. Now that we've got local and good stuff out of the way, 